Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dr. Bhavani Shankaradikari. Today, he has brought a new chapter, new title of the essay. It is written by Steve Jobs, and the title of the essay is How to Live Before You Die. It is very practical speech delivered to the students of graduation. How to Live Before You Die is a speech delivered by S.T. Jobs at Stanford University in 2005 as a commencement address. He uses autobiographical anecdotes to communicate the message of personal integrity. He has narrated three stories from his life. His first story is about connecting the dots. His second story is about love and loss. His third story is about death. His birth story began when he was born. He was the son of an unwedded graduate mother. She wanted to give him to a college graduate. The lawyers made the paper ready for his adoption. But the new parents wanted the girl and he was on a waiting list. His mother had never graduated from college and his father had never graduated from high school. So, his biological mother did not want to give them, but later his parents promised to send him to college and she agreed to sign the paper. His working class parents sent him to college when he was 17. He got joined Reed College, but dropped out after six after first six months. He did not know what to do with his education, and he thought that he was waiting, wasting not waiting, there is a word, wasting, W-A-S-T-I-N-G. This is wrong, W-A-S-T-I-N-G, Banoni. Not waiting, wasting his parents' money. So he did not want to continue his study. Then he dropped in and learned calligraphy, which became useful later for computer typing. This college, read college, was on the most important one beautiful uh, for calligraphy it was useful in the first computer the mac with beautiful typography it was impossible to connect the dots looking forward when he was in college and it was very clear looking backward 10 years later his second story is about the starting of the apple company with his friend in his parents garage when he was only 20 he had hired over 4,000 4, employees within 10 years, but he got fired when he was 30 because he had made one talented friend to run the company and he sided against him and he got fired from his own company which he established himself. He was falling out, he was falling out and he did not know for a few months what to do. He was a very public failure and thought that he was running away from the valley. He had been rejected, but he was still in love. So he decided to start over, start new job, new company. Getting fired from Apple was the best thing to start a new company for him. He started a company named that was next and Pizar, and he fell in love with the amazing woman to whom he got married too. Pizar created the world's first computer animated feature film. Apple bought Next and he returned Apple again and Next became the heart of Apple. If he had not been fired from Apple, it could not have become possible to invent the Next company. The only thing that he loved was what he did and it is essential to find what we love must. To start a great work is to love what we want to be and we should live for our own life but not for others. We need to explore what we have and we should keep looking until we find it and we should not settle for others' life. That is his belief. His third story is about his death because he got a pancreas cancer. The doctors told him it was incurable 
but later it was diagnosed and it was found curable and he had the operation of it when he had surgery he got fine after the surgery he was very close to death death was useful but it was purely an intellectual concept no one wants to die even people who want to die who want to go to heaven do not want to die to get there no one has ever escaped it but no one can escape from the death it is the real destination of all death is the real destination of all death is the best invention of life because it is the life's sense agent the writer says that our time is limited and we should waste we should not waste there is a word should not should be added there not thop no parsaya should not should not you know, not is missed should not waste living someone else life we should not be trapped by dogma and we must get an inner voice of our own we must have the courage to follow our heart and intuition and everything else is secondary so the writer came to the conclusion that stay hungry stay foolish it is a matter of staying hungry and foolish for new invention and creation in life the writer has advised being creative and curious to do something in life to live before death is to be hungry for knowledge invention and creation and explore the real and true voice hiding within us this is how the writer has captured the real things how we have to live before death right in this essay the writer has a deliberate his speech his commencement speech he went there in stand for university in 2005 he had never graduated but he went there for the speech to deliver to the graduation program and it was a pride for him he had his his three stories his factual real informal style of expressing the ideas made him influencing convincing because he brought the true story real story of his life real fact of his life and his story was about the birth it began before his birth he began he go, uh, was the son of unmarried mother she was graduated mother and she wanted to give that child to a graduate mother only but there was no graduate mother the paper was read, made ready for the mother who was who had graduated but when he was born and the parents who wanted to adopt him wanted the girl not the boy so he was in waiting list and the parents he found were working class parents mother had never graduated father had never graduated even high school so his biological mother did not want to give him give them but later they promised that he they would send him to university when he became ready to accept their adoption to give the adoption to the child to them and she signed the paper and when he became 17 years old and the working class parents poor class parents sent him to college in just read college it was best college and he started reading and he thought that education was meaningless useless for him he did not know what to do after getting the education and he was compulsion to stay inside the classroom but he was he realized that he was wasting the money of his parents so he thought it was not necessary to study so he dropped out after first 6 months but when he dropped out again he dropped in the college for the study of calligraphy handwriting to typography but he did not know why he was learning it but it was read college was the best college for handwriting everywhere calligraphy was there maintained in the in the state in the united states so he started writing he started learning that without any aim but later when he just established later then he established his own apple company in the garage of his parents and with a one friend and within 10 years at that time he was only 20 and within 10 years when he was 30 he made the company big enough large enough there were more over 4000 employees working in apple company but he had hired one man brought one man in in the company he was very talented to run the company he had thought that it was better needed of him to run the company and later he sided with the bod board of directors and he was fired when he was 30 and he was lost he thought that he was failure public failure he did not know what to do he did not know where to go and he realized it was his just tragedy of life and perhaps he was useless in his life 
but he wanted to leave even the valley but later he started he thought he fell even in love with a woman she was beautiful amazing woman she got married with he got married with him and then now he started another company that company's name was next and pizar and that company made the best feature film in the world and that was very useful without that apple company could not survive so apple company purchased it and he came back again in the company and once now he got back to the company but he was sick he was unhealthy and he had a cancer pancreas cancer and doctor said it was incurable doctor said goodbye for him doctor said him to go in his house and do everything that he could do for 10 years within few months and just doctor's idea was to tell him to be ready for death but what he thought it was later when it was diagnosed and it was found the pancreas cancer was curable it was unique and they had the surgery and he got it cured and then he worked more and later what he thought he is near to the death and he realized that death is a agent of life very good invention without death it is meaningless when a person thinks that he is very close to death and he start working he works more and he advises that we must work what we love we must find our inner voice we must find our thought what we want to be and we should live for our own self not live for others living for others means working for others and following the advice of others but living for oneself means finding oneself like the writer found himself and became the tycoon of the business and great person in the world and his intention was there his inner voice told him to start the company apple company start that next company bizarre company and then he brought a kind of revolution in the world of technology and even in world of business in the same way he says we must do we must find out our inner voice and we must work we must live in that way otherwise we cannot become living for ourselves and meaningful our life cannot make our life meaningful and he came to the conclusion that his advice to the students was stay hungry and stay foolish staying hungry and staying foolish means become hungry for knowledge hungry for invention hungry for creation foolish for creation be different from the society and then when you become different from the society when you do something different from what it was not done before and then it is very important for the invention for the creation for the ideas new ideas and new thoughts and new creation that is what the writer has said and perhaps his concept of becoming hungry and doing something uh, foolish is really good enough okay this is very important inspiring good idea thank you you can just 